Namaste everyone. I am extremely happy to present our neonatal Shishu app. The app is available on Google Play Store. Installation is very easy. It's very standard. Just go to the Google Play Store, type in NFI Shishu and then you will find this one in the uh, first place. Then just say install and that is there on your uh, computer, uh, sorry, smartphone already. Now once it is installed, you can just open and you can go through all the initial bits. So I would like to thank our NNF team which has really helped us to uh, develop this app. My teammates, myself, Dr. Sushma and Deepthi and also uh, Mr. Nagendra of Ideas Unlimited who has developed this app in a wonderful way. In the beginning, you see well laid out icons of this calculator. There are six numbers. The first one is neonatal calculators. Then it is followed by the calculation of the antimicrobials and non-antimicrobial drugs. There is a calculator for continuous infusion as well. This is followed by neonatal scores and some charts which are interactive as well. So let us see one after the other. Once you click on neonatal calculators, then you see list of all the calculators available that can be used in day-to-day -day neonatal practice. To just give you an example, I am opening cardiorespiratory calculator and I am selecting whichever is needed. For now, I am going to select saturation oxygen pressure index which is a very recent one which is published so you need to type the uh, desired input values for example in this case FiO2 of 50 percent CPAP of 5 and SpO2 of say uh, 90 and then press calculate button this is going to give the value as the result similarly you can operate other calculators as well coming to gestational calculators very handy to use for example if you want to calculate the corrected gestational age and chronological age all that we need to do is type in what is the birth gestation for example 28 weeks in this case and select the birth date from the calendar that will be popping up and then select the visit date as a default it will be today but you can select any other date click ok and then click calculate it gives what is the chronological age of the child and what is the corrected age as of the visiting date. The lines and tube calculators uh, help in uh, inserting the tubes necessary for neonatal management. Here I am punching 1.5 kilos for this baby's weight and you can see all the numbers pop up here. Metabolic calculators are quite intensive, there are quite a good number and we can use for management of very sick neonates. I am just giving an example of correction of hypernatremia with free water deficit. Here we can open the calculator, type in the weight, in this case 1.2 kilos and put the value of sodium that has been obtained from the lab, uh, for example 165, then it gives what is the amount of uh, free water deficit which has to be corrected. Metabolic calculators is followed by nutritional calculators which are very very essential in any uh, level 3 neonatal unit. You can use this calculator for ca ca calculation of the calories given the content of the fluid. You can use the uh, uh, calculator for calculation of GIR that is glucose infusion rate based on the dextrose and total fluid rate. Uh, however, I would like to concentrate here on TPN calculation. So this is one of the very intensive uh, job that we do in neonatal units. As doctors, we can prescribe what is needed, but for preparation, it needs a lot of calculation. That has been taken care in this TPN calculator. I'm going to elaborate it now. Type the weight of the child. In this case, let us say 1.5 kilos and total fluid the baby needs is around 100 ml per kg per day glucose infusion rate is 5 amino acid uh, requirement is around 2 lipid is 0.5 sodium is 3 potassium is 2 calcium is 40 magnesium is 3 phosphorus is 20 now just press preparation then you get the whole thing uh, recipe available for preparing so that will be very easy for the nurses or the clinical pharmacy people to prepare the TPM. It also gives the value of uh, 
amount of dextrose that has to be mixed. In this case, it is 98 ml of 10% dextrose and 1 ml of 50% dextrose. It also displays what is the concentration of the dextrose solution and what is the concentration of dextrose in the whole of the TPN as well. So it also gives the calculation of the energy density of the fluid that we are giving. This is followed by a reference description which can be used for people who are just beginning their neonatal career. And on top of it, we can uh, enter the name of the child and then IP number or MRN number, whatever it is. And then we can say create label and that will create a label which includes whatever the calculations that we have done. This can be printed and shared with mail or WhatsApp or any other such uh, sharing platforms and that can be printed and pasted on the uh, either in the case sheet or on the TPN bag. So phototherapy calculator is another one which we feel that it is very essential for day to day use. Most often all of us encounter the uh, scenario where this uh, serum bilirubin value will be given to us and we need to decide whether we need to start a phototherapy or not. So instead of going through all the charts and all those things, it has been made easier now. This is based on AAP, so hence it can be used for children more than 35 weeks. So just type the bilirubin value, say in this case 18 and whether the risk is low, medium or high, you need to select. In this case it was medium and what is the age of the child. In this case it was 48 hours. Then press calculate button, it says photo start phototherapy. Suppose if this value was say 12 and it was low risk and baby was 72 hours old then it says that no phototherapy is needed so it is as easy as this you can quickly make a decision based on these three input values when you have this app on hand for babies who are less than 35 weeks there is another uh, chart based on ice guidelines which i'm going to uh, discuss later this is followed by the drug calculation. Here we have calculation for antimicrobials. Uh, let us choose one drug, say cefetoxime. Type the weight of the baby, say 2 kgs and say calculate. Then you can see what is the dose has to be administered. That means to say this is the dose that is appropriate for this weight of this child and frequency of administration. And as we know in neonates, we need to have some corrections for the gestational age and chronological age that is given here in under the preparation or administration. In this case, if the child is less than seven days, it has to be given 12th hourly instead of eighth hourly. A similar arrangement is made for non-antimicrobial drugs where you can choose the drugs, for example, say frusamide and type in the weight of this child and say calculate. So this will give all the information about whether the loading dose is needed or not needed, if needed, how much what is the administration of dose, what is the frequency it has to be given, what is the dose range that is minimum and maximum so that we can escalate if needed and also compatibility with other fluids. So a lot more information is also available when you scroll down. So this is followed by continuous infusion drug calculation where we have two categories in this. In the continuous infusion calculator, we just need to choose the drug that we generally use for infusion. Let us say medicalam. Then type in weight of this child, say 1.3 and then say calculate. It gives what is the loading dose that has to be given, what is the initiation dose, what is the dose range again similar to that what we see. Of course infusion, it is an infusion and the compatibility as well. Other important thing is how to prepare inotropes. We use these four common inotropes in neonatal practice. So let us select dopamine and say weight of the child is 0.8 kilos and the dose that doctor prescribed is say 10 microgram per kg per minute and because there will be a lot of other fluids going we can also decide on the fluid infusion rate let us say 0.5 ml per hour so if you just put all these input values and say calculate it says that we have to mix dopamine with a concentration of 40 mg per ml 0.6 ml with 24.4 ml of normal saline and infuse at a rate of 0.5 ml per hour to achieve our goal. So these are about drugs and then let us go to neonatal scores. There are commonly used scores here. There are a couple of them which are just recently published so it might not be very popular. I'll just give you an example of PIPA score. This is the score which will give us the 
risk of development of moderate to severe encephalopathy in any baby who has undergone asphyxial insult. So this has to be scored between 3 to 5 hours of age. All that we need to do is put the clinical input and then this is followed by So some risk is already there with clinical input. Then we have to enter the details about neonatal resuscitation, whether the baby needed resuscitation or no resuscitation, or CPAP, or a short-term PP we can be clubbed under CPAP, or positive pressure ventilation, chest compression, etc. Let me put it as CPAP here, and then we have to enter what was the arterial lactate within one hour of life or umbilical artery lactate. Say if it is two, then the risk will be 23%. If the lactate is 3, then the risk becomes 31%. Anything which crosses 30% is considered as high risk. So there is a reference for this. This is recently published in Journal of Perinatal Medicine. I think interested people can go through this one. Similarly, there is another recent score which has been added to this calculator. It's called Script Score. We all know how to use Kramer scale for assessment or clinical assessment of jaundice. It is a modification of that or probably improvement of that. So you just need to choose where is the jaundice on the clinical basis. It is in zone 2 or zone 4 or zone 3, whichever it is. And then we have to look for the stool color match with the strip. Whichever the closest match is there, you can just uh, punch that button and it will give the predicted serum bilirubin of 13 milligram plus or minus 2 milligram per deciliter. So as you change the uh, clinical input or the color, these uh, values keep changing. And this is now supposed to be, or at least reported to be, better than transcutaneous bilirubin. So, following this course, we can go to the uh, last part, that is a neonatal chart. These are the charts which are static. So, you can just get the image of these charts, which can be used for plotting. For example, Fenton's growth chart, etc. You can uh, zoom out and make it small. So, these are two important interactive charts. These are very important when the babies are staying in our unit for a longer time, particularly preemie babies when the weight gain becomes an important issue. I will show you how to use this. Open the calculator and you see a blank space. There is nothing here. Here we have to enter the weight in grams. So it's important to weight in grams. Say let me put as 800 grams and then say enter. Then we get a reference chart. This can be followed by entering the values on different days. Say day 1 it will be 800, day 3 it could be 750, day 5 it could be 700, day 7 unfortunately it can drop down to 600 and again after management on day 8 it can come to 700. So let me plot this graph. You can see the observed value graph is plotted against the reference chart. So this will help us to understand how we are managing the child and how best we can manage the baby. Similar to this, we have another chart for preterm bilirubin uh, plotting where we can decide about the phototherapy or exchange. This is based on <coughs> NICE guidelines. For all preterm babies, you need to first select the gestation of the baby, birth gestation. So let me say it is 27 weaker and then there is a reference chart already available. Then just keep entering what is the bilirubin, say 4 on day 1. 5 on day, uh, sorry, day 0, 4, day 1, 5, then goes to 8, then comes down to 5. Just say plot graph. You can see there is a observed value graph that is being plotted. So anything beyond this line should be treated with phototherapy and when it exceeds this line, you have to go for exchange transfusion. I think this is the... Uh, overview of this neonatal shishu app in uh, uh, in a nutshell and uh, again i want to thank everyone who have co cooperated with this nnfi ideas in limited my team members and all the people who have given the feedback to make it better having said that i am not claiming that this is the perfect one there might be a few errors that has been creeping in so please feel free to mail us back about what are all the improvements that you want to uh, want us to inculcate in the next update as well as if there are any serious errors, please let us know. We can correct as and when, uh, as soon as possible. Thank you so much for listening.